this is Lisa Christensen. Welcome back to day five of NLP. I am so excited. We're on day five. Can you believe it? You know why? Because you have stuck with me on this journey. And this journey is really about your life. And I am so excited to be a part of you and your life and your outcome. I'd like to start with saying that life is a journey. It's, it, it's great and at the same time, life can be a storm, my friends. Have you seen that? Have you noticed that? And this storm, we're learning and we're growing and we're searching for new ways to navigate through that so that we can find a better way to our outcome. Would that be fair? I think so. And with that question in mind, have you noticed? And when I say life is a storm, this is what I mean. Have you noticed in your life that you're constantly reacting to the demands around you, to the stimulus around you, the phones are ringing, the kids are crying, you've got uh, your husband needs something, your wife needs something, you've got all of these different demands of life that are just pulling you and tugging you in all these different directions and you're, you're spreading yourself so thin. Have you, have you found yourself ever doing that? I, I know that I have and I've, I've certainly been there and it, it's taken a lot for me to get to a place to where I've, I've really had to ask myself a better set of questions in order to refine my outcome and to get a better answer. <laughs> and I'm asking you these because the moment that you give in to the demands of the stimulus around you, at that moment, you are no longer in control of your future. At that point, the events of life are in control of your future. And personally, I think you should be living life on your terms. And I encourage you to take control of your future. And I encourage you to do it now. You care more about your success than anyone else ever will. Abraham Lincoln said that. And I agree. I agree that no one cares more about you and your outcome than you. And I'm here not to tell you what to do or teach you what to do. You already know what to do. I'm here to move the clutter out of the way so that you can see more clearly. Clarity is power. And I'm here to help you to move those, those things out of your way so that you can identify what it is you need to do to move forward in your life. And, and I'm asking you these things because it is so important to know that once you ask a better question, you get a better answer. When you get a better answer, then you have a better quality of life. Would that be fair? I think so. I'm certain of it actually because I know that once I started asking better questions, I started to get better answers. And that's when I really saw the difference in my life around me and the difference in the lives that I touch around me, those that are close to me, my family and friends. And, and I'm so grateful for that. And it's been a growing process and every day I'm continuing to grow and continuing to learn. And I'm really grateful that you're allowing me to learn and grow from you. There are things that you have offered me here on the forum and I've learned so much from you. And so I'd like to thank you for that as well. And I also want to remind you that the measure of your self-esteem really just comes from two things. Whether you are in control of the events around you or whether life circumstances are in control of you. And I know I sound like I'm repeating myself on some of these things and, and there's a good reason for that. I'm going to share with you a story that applies to this. There was a pastor who was giving a sermon one Sunday morning and it was just, it, it, was, it was so touching and it was so moving that it, you would have thought that revival just swept across the church and everybody loved it and they were just, they, they, everybody kept coming up to the pastor and telling him, wow, that was just, it was such a strong, powerful message. Thank you so much. That was just a beautiful message. I'm so moved by your message. And it, congregation left the following Sunday. Everybody comes back to church and he preaches the same message and everybody, you know, some of the people there were thinking, okay, well, I thought we covered that last Sunday. <laughs> okay. Um, and they were nice. They thought, well, you know, he's getting older, so maybe he just didn't remember, maybe, or maybe he didn't have time to prepare. 
a new sermon, and so they, they didn't say anything to him, and some of the people hadn't even noticed. And they, they come up to him and they tell him, oh, this is really a, a great sermon. It's a great message today. Thank you so much for the message that you gave today. And, you know, this happens, you know, three or four times in a row until finally one, the deacon of the congregation came up to the pastor and he said, um, Father, you do realize that you have just given the same sermon five Sundays in a row. And I just wanted... I wanted to point that out to you. I didn't know if you knew that you were doing that. And I'm wondering why you're, you're not giving any new information. And the pastor said, he gets this great big grin, and he says, I'm so glad you noticed. Now maybe you're finally hearing the message. So repetition is the key. So when I tell you something and you think you've heard it before, you have. And I'm, I'm sharing these things with you so that they sink in because your subconscious is pulling this all in. And at the time that you need it the most, your subconscious is going to extract that information and it's going to apply itself to where you need it. For those of you that do recognize that I have repeated myself, congratulations. And also, like the expression goes, they say that <clears throat> when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. And the same goes for your subconscious. When you're ready, that information will appear. So congratulations and thank you so much for understanding and appreciating where I'm coming from with this. Also, need to point out this, I really need to point this out. Once you master your emotions, you are in control of your future. Do you remember the moments that changed your life forever? Another one is coming, so get ready. I'm so excited for you on that one. These are your action items, okay? I want for you to write down 10 things, 10 emotions that you feel on a daily basis. 10 painful things that you feel on a daily basis. Things that are causing you angst. Things that cause you depression. Things that cause you anger. These are the things, I want you to write down these 10 things that cause you negative emotions. I want, to, I want you to write down 10 things that make you feel like you just want to cry. And I want, I want you to write down what, what are those things that make you feel that way. This is part of identifying who you are and how we can turn those circumstances into something that's serving you. That's number one. Number two, I want you to write down 10 feelings that bring you great joy. 10 things that give you the emotion of great joy. 10 things that make you feel so excited that you just want to share it with someone immediately. I want you to write down 10 empowering emotions that you feel and what makes you feel that way. Again, the reason we're doing this is because this is going to identify what brings these emotions to you so that we can make them better serve you. We give words meanings. We can also change that. When you can change a belief, these meanings that we've given things give us a belief structure. All of these things that you're feeling, all of these emotions that you're feeling, you have given those things meaning. Once we know what that is, we can create a better question and then we can get a better answer. No one person, no one thing can make you feel anything without your permission. Eleanor Roosevelt said that. I agree. So we give words meanings. We are the ones who put meanings to events, to circumstances, and to the life around us. Our beliefs create our blueprint. When you can ask a better question, you can get a better answer. When you can get a better answer, you can change your belief. When you can change your belief, you change your blueprint. When you change your blueprint, you change your life. And that's where we're headed. This is all about strategy. It's about taking action and making a change. It's about being the change you want to see in this world. And I think that's exciting. So again, 
your action items are 10 emotions, you're going to write them down. Fear, pain, anxiety, angst, and you're going to write down what makes you feel those emotions so that we can create a better question, create a new meaning, because again, we give words meanings. Action item number two, you're going to write down everything empowering, the, the things that make you feel loved, excited, happy, elated, that make you feel joy, that make you feel happy. Action item number three, you are going to write down the question that you ask yourself the most. Why is this happening to me? Why do I always end up in this situation? These are some examples of questions that you might be asking yourself. And we're going to learn how to create a new question. So instead of saying, why does this always happen to me? Why? Why, why do I always end up in this circumstance? Maybe instead of saying that, you can say something like, hmm, how can I take the situation I'm in right now to serve the greater good of all? How can I take this situation, this circumstance that's going on around me, so that it serves the greater good of others? That would be a good example of how you can reframe your questions so that you can arrive at your destination at a quicker pace. Strategy is built on the foundation of faith. And faith is being sure of something that we hope for. And hope is being certain of something that we do not see. When you have that, and I know in my heart that you do, when you have that, you are so far ahead of the majority of the population out there and the fact that you again have shown up for your dreams. You are showing up for life and showing up for your dreams. You are so far ahead of so many people. Once you accomplish that, taking action, piece of cake. Making a change, <laughs> that's going to happen because when you know what you want, when you know that you know that you know deep in the core of you what you want, 80% is knowing what you want, 20% are the mechanics. And the mechanics will come. Okay, with that being said, I am so excited. Thank you so much. This is Lisa Christensen. We have just wrapped up day five. And congratulations, you have made it through another day of NLP. I am so excited. Go out, make it an amazing day. Um, remember, stay focused on your outcome. Make it an amazing life. Thank you so much for sharing with me. Thank you so much for the fact that we're learning, sharing, growing, and inspiring each other through this. And I will see you next time. God bless you. Have a great day. Hey, this is Lisa Christensen. We just finished filming day five of NLP. And I know a lot of you out there are kind of wondering what was with the outfit. <laughs> And I'll tell you, because I am so excited, today is a beautiful day. It's very rare that we get one of these days where the temperature is cold, it's maybe 40 degrees, feels like 30. And I, I, you know, this is how committed I am to you, because I, I was so determined to get this filmed, and at the same time really wanted to take my bike out for a ride. And for those of you that do, do not know, this is Phoenix, this is my bike. Something that I, I wanted to mention as I was filming day five of NLP is that you have to make yourself a priority or no one else will. You have to make yourself a priority or no one else will. And what that means is you need to take at least an hour out of a day that's just yours. And in my case, I schedule it like as if it were a doctor's appointment. That's how I schedule it. And I like to take at least two hours minimum to take a ride on the bike. And my biggest passion, my biggest, I can't even talk. Look at that. My biggest passion that I have is serving others and the greater good of all and riding my bicycle. And if I can somehow wrap it all up and do it at the same time, that even makes it more fun. So thank you so much for indulging me and for uh, being patient with the fact that you've seen me filming in cycling gear a few times. And I'm going to go out and have a great time and ride my bicycle and um, just going to have a lot of fun with this. And so anyway, um, I'm hoping that 
you will go out and do the same thing, whatever that day looks like for you, um, whatever that means for you. Um, go out, uh, do something that, that feeds your soul. And like I said, you know, for me, uh, being on the bicycle is what really feeds my soul. And so I'm going to take advantage of this day by doing so. And we're going to go ride a bike and go roll. And so we'll see you later. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Make it amazing. And remember, make go. Make time for yourself and have fun.